Hey B Squad, it's your girl Diana coming at you now with the video. All right, guys, I wanted to introduce y'all to um, my ministry. Um, ministry is called Broken Before God, Broken Before God, BBG. Mainly, I'm targeting the ladies, but men, this is also for you as well. You know, in life, as we grow up, uh, starting from when we were little kids, we go through some broken stages in our life, whether you've been hurt by a friend, a parent, a sibling. Or even your own low self-esteem we've all been broken in some type of way fashion and form and i tell everybody it always starts out from when you were a child you know maybe you wanted something and couldn't have it so you've got to experience what it was like to receive and have disappointment in your life you know we all go through it but sometimes we go through some other situations that are worse than you know maybe maybe a worse situation maybe you went through a parents who were divorced maybe you went through being in foster care maybe you went through seeing abuse in your home or you being abused whether it was sexually uh physical um mental emotional spiritual there's all forms of abuse but all of it leads to a broken state of mind and i know because i've been through all of those you name any abuse form form fashion i've been through it and that's why um I'm able to speak about it because I've been over, I've overcome it by the help of God. God was the only one that could pull me through. And I went through it from years from being a child, maybe from the age of five. And I'm 49 years old now. But I went through a lot of abuse. I went through a lot of turmoil, some tragedies in my life, some disappointments, some setbacks, some rejection. You know, you name it, I probably can claim it because I haven't been through it. But I now I just deny it by the blood of Jesus because it is a done deal you know but you have to get to the point in your life where you can actually say and own up to what you've been through in your life and then see a lot of people what they don't understand that when you've been broken you have to learn how to allow healing to be a part of your life and be a partaker and the only way you can be healed is that you have to invite jesus christ to be your lord and savior who can heal and change all those broken wounds those hurts and pains um that have entered into your life you know women we we play a lot of roles as they say we wear a lot of hats and we carry a lot of bags we carry and in those baggage bags we carry a lot of baggage and then what consists of that baggage is hurt, pain from past relationships, family problems, self-esteem, uh, hurt, rejection, you name it. Sometimes um, you got stuff in your bag you didn't even know you had. And the reason you continue to carry that stuff is because you don't know how to get healed. A lot of us cannot be in a successful relationship because we have not learned how. We don't know how. We don't know what to do. We don't know which way to turn. We don't know which way to go. So we carry that and we go into like different relationships. And what we do when we get in those relationships, we carry that baggage. We carry that baggage into those relationships, which ends up in a broken relationship because you're carrying your hurt and pain. You're always on your P's and Q's. You're always looking to see if they're going to do what the last person done to you. Or uh, when you get involved in a family, um, you're looking for the same thing that you came out of with your family. And the reason why is because you have not allowed God to heal your heart. But the first, the first thing to healing is admitting that you hurt, admitting that you broke it, admitting, admitting what you've been through, admitting, admitting at what you're still carrying. You know, we can go on and on and on, but you know, God's desire, God desires to heal you. He desires to heal us from our brokenness. You know, the first time I actually, experience uh brokenness was when i was a little girl um seeing my mother be abused by her uh, ex-husband and no no scratch that let's go back a little further actually it's when we were put in a foster home and foster care that was my first experience being taken away from my mom and in fear of being separated from my siblings that was like horrible for a child to experience scary very scary didn't understand you know didn't think you know you think your parent don't want you but it wasn't that but at a, as a child who could understand that i couldn't and that's where my first experience of being broken came in is that when i was put into somebody else's care that i didn't know living in somebody else's home um thinking that they was gonna love you the way you need to be loved but how many of you know that it's just not the same nobody can love you the way you want to be loved unless you give off that love and as a child you don't know that and it was the most scariest thing being put in that foster home i was so scared but i suffered at the hands of being in that foster care to um being 
what do you call it, sexual abuse. Thank God that that nothing, nothing too extreme happened to me. But I suffered at the hands of dealing with her, dealing with my foster parents' adult sons trying to molest me. You know, so any type of molestation is molestation, whether they touching on you, kissing on you, feeling on you, whatever the case may be, is still bad. It's molestation. So that that was scary. You know, as a child, imagine sleeping, trying to sleep with one eye open, wondering if they're going to come in your room and mess with you. You know, wondering about all those things. And that too led up to me not trusting people, especially men. It led me up to not trusting people. It, led, it put fear in me. So I had that planted in me when I was a little girl. I was scared, felt lonely sometimes. I wanted my mom. You know, I wanted my mother. But there was a process of going back and getting for my mother to get us. You know, my mother was ill. That's why we were in foster home. My mother had cancer at the time. So we were, she didn't want us, you know, in certain places. So we were put in foster care. But anyway, guys, I'm going to be doing a little series on this brokenness. Because I want to introduce to you what it is to be broken and to show you how you can be healed uh but it's only it's only through jesus christ can we be healed and set free i love you guys and uh, if you want to see more and hear more talk to me about your stories what areas have you been broken in that's how we're gonna get free talk to me you know talk to me i'm gonna put my life out here for you guys because i want y'all to know where where and what all has happened and taking place so you can come on out so make sure you like comment and subscribe and let me know your story and share this video guys all right remember bbg broke before god all right guys catch you